In 2015, Peter Shankman bought a $5,000 return ticket from New Jersey to Tokyo. Soon after the 14-hour flight landed, he got back on the same plane and went straight back home, much relieved. He took only his laptop and phone on the trip. Why? I'll give you that one more time. In 2015, Peter Shankman bought a $5,000 return ticket from New Jersey to Tokyo. Soon after the 14-hour flight landed, he got back on the same plane and went straight back home, much relieved. He took only his laptop and phone on the trip. Why? He was playing something called Jet Lag the Game. And he... <laughs> yeah, I feel like we do this basically all the time. <laughs> we Adam and I did this once going New York to L.A. and then back in the same day for a game once. And it was one of the worst days of my life. So shout out to that guy for having probably a terrible couple of days. We did kind of skip over what Jet Lag the Game is. And you know what? We'll we'll fill that in at the end. But there's a there's a lot of travel involved. Does this have to do with like points and airline reward programs? Why do you say that? Because what is often done and something that, to be honest, I have done is you get to the end of the year and you have a certain tier uh, that you need to pass to get a certain airline status level. Um, and you need to accrue, you need to get a certain number of like flown miles or something through the year to get past that. So if you're, if it's like, December 15th and you're like, oh, I, I, my, all my travel plans are done and I just have this tiny bit more. Some people take these, these, uh, they call them like mileage runs. Um, but this doesn't, the, the relief makes me think that maybe that's not the case here. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's not why he did this. Okay. I like, that was a very diplomatic way to frame that, which is you're right, Sam, about having been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's half the game. Process of elimination. Um, um, okay, I, I have I have a, a question for you, Tom. So, and, and I apologize, you may have mentioned this in the question. How long was he in Tokyo for? Not very long at all. But sorry, but if if I could push just a bit, is is not very long, like a few minutes or like a few hours? He went back on the same plane. I'm told. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Does it have something to do with like a lost item? Did he like forget something? Like his wallet or something like that? I think there's a cheaper ways of getting your wallet back than a $5,000 flight. Well, I, people are do silly stuff, Tom. That's true. That's the whole th thing of this podcast. This is kind of a... I think a lot of people would describe this as silly, but it was effective for him. Is there something he needed to do upon landing in Tokyo, or was the flight itself the completion of his task? Good question. It was the flight itself. Oh. Although completion of the task is actually a little bit closer than you might think. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Sorry, Tom. I this is a real dumb question, but I do feel that I need to ask it. He this guy wasn't the pilot of the plane, was he? <laughs> no, I think I think much relieved uh, kind of gives you that. And also, he bought a five thousand dollar ticket. To, to the best of my knowledge, pilots do not have to buy tickets for their planes. Okay, I had forgotten about the ticket thing, but I think you have to admit that it would fit all the parameters that if this guy had to fly this flight, he was like, man, I'm real relieved that I flew. Yeah, but pilots don't come back on the same flight. They have crew rest requirements. Um, okay, well, I don't know that. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. So task, that makes me think, does this have anything to do with like a game show or some sort of competition or? Not this time. Damn it. I thought it was going to be like Taskmaster where they have to get as far away as possible and some guy just really committed to the bit and for some reason Taskmaster was in New Jersey. <laughs> the the US version of Taskmaster was in California and it was terrible, but not yeah. this time. I'm a bit stumped. I mean, what kind of seat would $5,000 buy on a flight like that? Oh, you know, that's that's a great question, actually. that's I hadn't even really clocked that. It was a super expensive. So was he like in first class? Yeah, he would have been up in business class on this. Were there other people on the plane? Oh, yes. Yeah. Standard commercial flight. Was he doing an experiment of some sort? No, he he did have a, have a personality trait that made this kind of necessary for what he wanted to do. Oh, okay. Interesting. Why might you want to spend 28 hours on flights in a very short space of time? Oh, 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 I have one. I have one. I have, here's a quick, can this dude only sleep on planes? <laughs> now, the, the verb in that sentence was wrong, 
but the rest of it was pretty close. Oh, there's something okay. he can only do if he's on a plane. It's something that he's helped with enormously in that environment. What is it about that flight environment, about that long trip, that meant he could do a thing? He can only get boozed up on planes. He can only... Okay, wait a minute. What are... I know some people, like, write on trains specifically to write. Um... Because it like helps them concentrate. It feels like that's it's along those lines. Tom's like, nodding. He's nodding. Yeah, you've nailed it. What? Right? There are no outside stimuli, no other connections to the world. He is locked in a box with his laptop for twenty-eight hours and has spent a lot of money to do it. So you are absolutely right, Sam. This guy bought those flights wow. so he could get his manuscript done before the deadline. Wow. Does, has he heard of trains? You still have a mobile phone connection there. Oh. If you want to if you want an isolated box I know some flights have Wi-Fi now, particularly in the US, but like transcontinental in 2015, this is a locked, isolated box that you have paid money to be in. That is a very, very good reason to actually start working on your damn manuscript. I would like to make an offer that if anybody would like to spend $5,000 to be in a box without their phone, I will personally build a box for them in exchange for that $5,000, and I will take their phone away from them. This is my new incredible business. So that's sort of been done before. Douglas Adams, uh, who wrote Hitchhiker's Guide, was once locked in a hotel room with his editor for three weeks, voluntarily, but just so he would actually try and meet the deadline this time. I think most writers just get, like, cabins. I mean, yeah, this was just a business class cabin. This is the most expensive Walden I've ever heard of. Expensive what? A Walden. You know Walden when he, he went to the woods so he could live honestly? Up in Maine, I think. Or... Henry David Thoreau, I believe it was. Oh, you've yeah, yeah. exposed a hole in my knowledge here. Wow. wow. The Brit doesn't we know win. about the great American authors. <laughs> You should title this episode Tom Scott Humiliated on his own podcast. <laughs> yes, Peter Shankman bought a $5,000 return ticket to spend 28 hours cut off from the world so he could finish his manuscript. 